When dealing with I.O. automation alarms, you will probably come across a scenario where you need an alarm if a door is left open for too long. You can use inputs for, for, from cameras and inputs from I.O. devices for this purpose. And first you're going to hook your door sensor to your camera or I.O. device. Then we are going to configure the event for door open too long. Here I'm going to demonstrate the configuration using an I.O. device but it is exactly the same as using a camera. First, you're going to create the, uh, the input event that it's going to recognize is if the door is open. This event that we already created, here we are going to associate to which port your door is connected. So in this case, we have my door connected on input port 4. So which means that this event will trigger when input door, input port 4 is open. So whenever I open my door, the input port, the input port 4 will become open on my I.O. device. So first we configure this event. And we are going to already go ahead and configure the closed event that we're going to use uh, later on. So this is the closed event. You first you give a name, a description, and then this event will happen when input port 4 is short or closed. In this case, if my door closes, the input port, port 4 of my O device is going to be short and this event is going to be triggered. Now let's go back to the open event. So here we're going to configure this event will happen as soon as my door opens. Okay? Because when your door open, the input port 4 is going to change and now it's going to be open. And we are going to configure the actions. Here on the actions, you can configure other actions if you want uh, to happen as soon as your port is open, like sending an email or, or a notification to your operators. But for this purpose, we are going to use the timer event. A timer event are special events that happen after a certain amount of seconds that the parent event from, the, from which the parent event was triggered. So. As soon as my door is open, this event is going to be triggered and then it's going to create a timer event. And that timer event here, all you have to do is click add, but I'll open the timer event that I have already done. Um, here this timer event will trigger after 10 seconds, which means that I will get an alarm if the door is left open for 10 seconds or more seconds. Here you are going to configure your event actions that you want the system to trigger if your door is open for more for 10 or more seconds. Here we configured the system to send an email to our group of administrators with, with a message saying that the social gate was left open and we are also including some snapshots of all these cameras of which we can see who left the door open. We are going to send um, notification to all the, all the surveillance clients with these cameras selected. It's going to be on a pop-up. Also on the same pop-up, we are going to have this message um, so the operator knows why the, uh, he, he got that pop-up. We are also going to instruct the system to call a preset from a, a camera. So here we have the social gate preset. I selected camera 40. I can select this preset. Obviously, if I have more cameras, I can select presets from different cameras as well. Very flexible. We are also going to trigger a siren. So here we have pre-configured uh, uh, an action that actually triggers a physical siren. So 
it is from this device here. Just for to demonstrate, all I have to do is drag and drop the action to turn on our physical siren. And also, this we can instruct the system to create a bookmark. So we can easily search who, uh, who all, uh, left doors open by using the bookmarks. And we are going to set bookmarks for all these cameras. So this is our, this is our actions for if the door is left open for 10 or more seconds. But in order to finish, there is a special configuration that we have to do on timer event. That is the cancel timer on event. Why do we need this option here? We need this option because we have to cancel that timer if the door is closed before the timer triggers. So the timer event has this configuration. And here we are going to select that the timer is going to cancel if the door is closed. So all you have to do is select whatever event you want to cancel the, the timer. So in this case, we, pre, uh, we previously configured an event that is triggered if the port, if the door is closed. And we're going to select this event here. So if the door is closed, we are going to cancel the timer event that actually sends the alarms. So this event will never happen. If the door is open for too long, then the, the timer event is actually going to trigger after 10 seconds. And this is basically all the configuration you have to do on the timer event for door open too long. But just, there is just one more detail on our configuration. Remember that we set up a physical siren, siren to trigger here when the door is open for too long. We have to stop that siren somehow. The way we do it is that when the door is closed from this event, that means that uh, the input port 4 is short on the I.O. device, then we are going to configure here the action to turn off the siren. So when the door closes, the siren will turn off. Now let's see this event in action. And as a result of one of the actions, I got an email with the snapshot from all the cameras at the moment that my door was left open for too long.